Maybe you're tracking your spending with an app. You need a budget. It's a fantastic tool, but sometimes those transactions can be a little slow on the uptake. You swipe your card, you enter it in an app, but it's nowhere to be found. Frantic refreshing ensues, muttering about digital ghosts and disappearing dimes. Relax, breathe. This isn't a glitch in the in-app matrix, although that would be a pretty cool glitch. There's a perfectly normal explanation for the lag, and understanding it can actually help you manage your money even better. So, grab a cup of your favorite budgeting beverage and let's dive into the world of in-app transactions and why they take a little while to appear. The Mystery of the Missing Transaction, Unveiling the Culprit The main culprit behind the disappearing act? Banks Those financial institutions we all love and trust, sometimes with gritted teeth. When a transaction happens, it doesn't magically zap straight to an ab. Here's the behind-the-scenes process. You spend, they hold. When you make a purchase, the merchant sends an authorization request to your bank. Your bank, ever cautious, puts a temporary hold on those funds in your account. This is why you might see a pending transaction. The processing pipeline, once the merchant confirms the sale, think receipt or online verification, the actual transaction gets sent for official processing. This can take a day or two, depending on your bank and the merchant. NAB gets the green light. Finally, once the transaction is settled and finalized by your bank, NAB can receive the information. This is when your fancy budgeting software can pull it in and add it to your register. So, how long does it really take? There's no single answer, because several factors are at play. Your bank's speed. Some banks are quicker than others at processing transactions. Check your bank's online banking or mobile app to see their typical processing times. Transaction type. Generally, debit card transactions show up faster than credit card transactions. ACH transfers, direct deposits or bill payments, can take a few extra business days. Weekends and holidays, banks, shockingly, don't operate 24-7. Transactions made on weekends or holidays may not be processed until the next business day. NAB's role in the transaction tango. NAB uses a system called Direct Import to connect with your bank. They check for new transactions at least once per day, but the key phrase here is at least. There can be a slight delay on NAB's end depending on their update schedule. The power of proactive budgeting. While waiting for transactions to appear can be frustrating, there's a way to stay ahead of the game. Enter transactions manually. Don't wait for an app to import everything. Get in the habit of entering your transactions as you spend, especially for regular expenses. This keeps your budget up to date and prevents that feeling of lost control. Reconcile regularly. This process involves comparing your NAB accounts with your bank statements. It helps catch any discrepancies and ensures your budget reflects reality. NAB and pending transactions. A glimpse into the future. The good news? NAB is working on improving its handling of pending transactions. They're now starting to import them, which can give you a heads up on upcoming expenses. While you can't necessarily budget with them yet, it's a step towards a more real-time budgeting experience. With that said, thanks for watching and until next time.